Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this. Somebody actually I know posted this on Facebook today. And nobody asked me to do this, but I thought there's a lot of tools to make this easy, to make this work like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw the rectangle. And you'd, of course, you'd want to make it the size of the shirt uh, or the engravable. And you've got this kind of a sweep to it. The way I do sweeps like that is I use the three point curve line and I'm just gonna draw a line and then I'm gonna make a, a slight sweep. And then I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate while holding down the control button, mirror that guy and then flip it. Well, mirror didn't do any good. I could have just moved it over. But then take that and put it, whoop. Take your four point cross right there and have it snap to there. Now at this time, select it all. So here's tool one is combine it. Then I'm gonna hit P and that's a pretty good slope. So we're gonna make another one, control D and bring it down. Of course, I'm gonna trim off the excess, but we need to make them evenly spaced. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see how big my box is. It's a little over 10. I'm gonna make my nudge factor 12. And I'm gonna draw another line on the top of the box and then another line on the bottom of the box. And for just to make it easier, I'm gonna move my box out of the way. Now I've got four lines. I can grab those four lines and go to Windows, Dockers, Align and Distribute and pick this one right here, which is Distribute Vertically. And you've got those three lines or four, two lines in the middle now, we can actually take away that line. Don't really need it. Now we can nudge that over. Now we do not want the text to be touching. So we're gonna contour these blocks. So there's a little bit of give to them. So I'm gonna smart fill them. Doesn't really matter what color you use. And I'm gonna nudge them over. Now at this time, I'm gonna left click, right click, and I'm gonna go ahead and group them together so I can contour them all at the same time. If you don't have them grouped together, you can't contour. I'm gonna to go to effects and contour. I'm gonna just do like 0.1 this time and I haven't quite, I've already done this. So I've got a little bit of a contour so we see those lines. Now at this time, you don't even have to do anything. You don't have to break the contour part or anything. Just use your smart fill tool and fill Fill that in and nudge it over to the right. And you can see my space. We can actually delete this or keep it later for later. Now I'm going to take all these and I'm going to left click, right click. And now I wrote out this text and I've got it. Uh, I, I typed it all out evenly and then uh, control K. So now we're going to go to effects and envelope. And we're going to start at the top. And I'm gonna go right here to create an envelope form and, and I'm not gonna move it yet. Don't need to move it yet. Take the heaven, put it in the middle. Don't have to move it. Take the crowded. And then what I can do is take the crowded, hold down the shift key and select that one and go EC. Select that one. And it doesn't matter what order I hit EC, now I'm gonna go CE, same thing. Select that one, select that one, EC. Take away our box and, and then you could very easily change the colors much like this person did. But that's pretty, it's a little bit different font they had, but it's pretty close. Pretty cool. I like the idea and I like the same. Hope that hurt, help, thank you for watching.